A few things before we start this video. This is for educational purposes only, and if you would like to try out what I show you in this video, try it out in your own hacking lab that I made a video about, go check it out. To only use this on HTTP sites because HTTPS sites will probably not work because they are way more secure and this doesn't really work on those really secure websites. You can use other forms of SQL injection for those uh, se secure websites, but this is just a video about or 1 equals 1. Enjoy. Welcome back to another video of Cyber Tools. In this video, I will be showing you what or 1 equals 1 means in SQL injection. Since you're clicking on this video, you probably already know how and where to use OR1 equals 1. And if you don't know, just a basic understanding is if you type it in the username field or the password field, you'll get direct access to the admin account and basically just get, get in without using a real login. So, so how does that work? Basically, how it works is you first need to understand how the website processes what you type in. So if you're searching for some shoes, then you'll type in the search bar, for example, Nike shoes. So basically the database will change that statement that you typed in into an SQL statement or an SQL code and then the database lists all the information that the, it found and then it changes that into a web page with a nice GUI and lists it all out for you. So that's how it works with the search bar but then how does it work with a login field? Well it's basically the same thing except when you're typing in your username it's it looks for all users with the username that you have and then it looks for your password so if there is a user with that username and that same password then it will log you into your account if it doesn't then it will most likely give an error message so how does or one equals one work well basically the first thing that we need to go over is this quote right here what does that quote do basically what it does is as i said before what you type in gets changed into an sql statement so this quote closes the sql statement if the developer is using single quotes use a single quote to close that sql statement or if they're using double quotes, use a double quote. Most developers use single quotes because they're easier to type, so that's why these are more common. And then the next part of it is understanding what OR means. So basically, OR is basically just saying, j just saying like, don't do what I just said. If this is true, and this is true, so one, e one equals one, and one will always equal one, and then if there's anything after, it will just comment it out. This is an SQL comment, by the way, the three dashes. So if there's something like a password field after th this, it will just comment that all out and you won't have to worry about it. And then it should just look for the first, um, user in the database which is normally the admin account and give you access to the admin account so that's basically how it works this is a quick short video of how or one equals one works and if you guys have any questions leave them down below in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video